Good day, learners. Today we are doing algebraic expressions. And did you know that as much as each word in the spoken lang language has a meaning and purpose, so does mathematics. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use commutative, associative, and distributive laws for rational numbers and laws for exponents to add and subtract like terms in algebraic expressions, to multiply integers and monomials, binomials, binomials, and trinomials. Next, we will divide the integers or monomials by monomials, binomials, and trinomials. Then we will simplify algebraic expressions involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will also determine the square root, the squares, cubes, square roots, and cube roots of single algebraic terms and like algebraic terms. Then we will do we will determine the numeric value of algebraic expressions by substitution. We've divided then our concept map into three steps as we do algebraic expressions. The first part would be to do rules and laws, and then we will add and subtract expressions and simplify expressions using all operations. By the way, you should be able to identify variables and constants in given formula and equation. Let's do a pre-knowledge practice. Our first question is, in the expression negative 3x squared minus 4x minus 11, identify the variables and constant. Our variable is x and therefore even if we have x squared, the variable is just x. And the constant is negative 11. And what is the coefficient of x? The coefficient of x is negative 4. That is the number in front of x. What is the coefficient of x squared? Is negative 3. The next one, consider the expression 4a squared minus 5a cubed plus 6 minus 3a. First thing we have to do is to write the expression in descending order. Descending order means starting from the highest exponent to the lowest. So the highest exponent there is a cube. So the term there is minus 5a cubed. And then the next term is a square, which is plus 4a squared. Then the next term is the one that we do not write mathematically. So it's 3a, so it will be minus 3a plus 6. That's the last part. So that is writing it in descending order. The next question is, what is the degree of the expression? Remember, the degree is the highest exponent, and that exponent is a cube. So the degree is 3. Next question is, what is the constant term? The constant term is positive 6. How many terms does the expression have? There's one term. So remember, we count terms as separated by plus or minus sign. So it is one term. That's the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So it has four terms. That expression has four terms, and it's known as a polynomial. All right, our new words for today are, the first word is binomial. These are words that we've just been speaking about, and they are words that we are going to use as we continue with this lesson. 
A binomial then is an expression that has two terms. Let's make an example. X plus 4 is a binomial. Y minus 5 Let's say my, y minus 5x is also a binomial. Let's look at a, the next one. Word is a trinomial. A trinomial is an expression with three terms. An example of an expression with three terms, let's say it's 2x squared plus x plus 5. One, two, three terms. All right, and the next word is polynomial. Polynomial is an expression with two or more terms, which means these two are specific because a binomial has its name and a trinomial has its um, own name, but they are all polynomials as long as they have two or more terms. Let's make an example of a polynomial. It would be 3x squared plus 4x cubed minus 6x plus 7y plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. That's called a polynomial. All right? So for now, let's stop there and go for a break. See you soon.